uh, this is from Vanessa. I think it's a good one that sums things up as well. Um, she wants to know about your what advice you'd share for someone who is about to embark on their first speaking experience or maybe just in communicating in general. So maybe you can think back to all of the things that you learned. You shared so much great advice already, but um, what do you want to leave people with? Of uh, you know what advice that you shared, maybe that you learned along the way or that someone shared with you. I think that there's a lot to learn along the way regardless even if you were to um, you know listen to all the talks about how to do public speaking and read all the books ultimately you're just gonna have to do it at some point um, and that's how you're gonna learn and, and you're gonna keep evolving and iterating on your own style um, so I think the main thing that I would tell myself for if it was my first public speaking engagement, I would tell anybody else is to just be compassionate towards towards yourself and towards the learning process and the mistakes that you might make um, and and the the challenges that you're going to go through and and be compassionate towards that learning experience and have that growth mindset that as with anything else, you're just going to have to jump and then uh, slowly build up and, and, and grow from it. But there's not going to be a time where you're going to feel 100% ready and 100% an expert before you take that first step. Uh, so at some point, you just, you just have to do it. That's great. I would love to start with my, uh, my lovely speaking coach, uh, Cliff Kennedy's uh, 10 very simple tips. I always love sharing it with others. Um, before you go to speak, if you're doing your first speaking gig or however many speaking gig, this is always the 10 points that I remind myself with too, is number one, remember your purpose. Number two, visualize success. Uh, number three, embrace your audience. Just like what Paula said, have compassion to your audience. And number four, review your conclusion because it's going to be very helpful. You want to have a very strong start and have a very strong finish. Um, and number five, know what to say first. Again, have a very strong start, very strong finish. Uh, number six, that's applying to when you're speaking uh, in person, publicly, offline, which is um, balance your stance. But in my case right now, we're doing uh, this online uh, speaking and I'm sitting in my chair, really comfortable. Uh, so find the comfort pose that you wanted to stick with. Um, number seven, that is set your tempo. So the speed that you deliver, it's also very important uh, to give white space. It's like when you do design work, we all appreciate space, right? So give some space um, when you're speaking. Slow down sometimes if you need it to. Uh, number eight, focus on the present because the present is a present. Um, number nine is smile. And number 10 is be thankful. Um, so these are the 10 points from my speaking coach, uh, Cliff. But in my case, I, I would love to add on the 11, which is have fun. This is the time for you to shine, have fun and celebrate. This is the first time you're going to speak into a larger audience. And that's amazing. So make sure have fun. Always have a lot of fun when you're doing it. Thank you both so much. Uh, this was so fantastic. Um, we'd love to hear from you in the chat. I know that we can't hear kind of your thanks and, and your clapping um, on our webinar, but would love to um, have you share your thanks with Paula and Yi Ying in the chat. We um, are so glad that you all came and participated. You had some great questions. And I wanna thank Paula and Yi Ying so much for um, just being such amazing role models and being willing to, to share with us your experience and your advice.